Welcome back. With only a month away from summer and temperatures continue to rise in the borderland, it's never too late to dive into the swimming pool. And if you don't know how to swim, that's okay, because here with us today is Aquatics Division of the Parks and Recreation Department, Jesus Avila. Thanks for joining us, and how are you? Thank you for inviting us. Absolutely, we're ready to talk in this summer coming up uh, as we are opening our spray parks this, this coming weekend. So. Okay, so that's exciting. So talk mm -hmm. to us a little bit about like where exactly, locations, because people want to know. There's El Paso's huge. Yes, okay. absolutely. So we actually have one in each district. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to it once, we have a total of nine spray parks mm -hmm. covering each district. Um, so starting this weekend, um, starting at exactly 10 a.m., all the way to 8 p.m., they will be activated. So any of the public members that visit any of our spray parks, um, there are actual buttons to, so they're actually self-activated. Mm -hmm. um, and as well, they're chlorinated uh, spray parks as well. So everything gets recycled. So as far as water conservation is concerned, that is none of a <laughs> thing to worry about. So yeah, so from 10, um, 10 to 8 p.m. starting this weekend, um, the spray parks will be activated. Mm -hmm. And as far as uh, spray pads, we actually have one in the El Paso Zoo, which is actually included on the admission, and as well as the San Jacinto Plaza. So if they want to be you know, close to a park and close mm -hmm. to San Jacinto, they'll have an option to okay. enjoy those amenities there. I want to know also about the swimming. So people don't know how to swim, but you know, the classes are very helpful. And you know, people are going to be off throughout this, you know, uh, four day, for instance, it's gonna be a long weekend. It'll be fun for families to go out and teach their kids how to swim. So talk to us about the classes. I know, you know, Ian Roth, he's a former uh, swim instructor. So uh, yeah. I know he won't be able to do it, but you do have some coaches out there. Yes, I do want to express the importance of making sure that uh, that um, parents, you know, involve their kids in learning swim classes. It is definitely a life preserver, uh, a life skill. Um, so as far as the learn to swim classes are being offered a lot of our municipal aquatic facilities mm -hmm. and for availability, um, they can mm -hmm. visit ElPasoTexas.gov. So, but yes, it's important to enroll their kids in some lessons. Do you guys provide the life, uh, like the life vest or anything, or do they have to buy their own? So as far as the learn to swim, um, we usually do present um, the the topic of the importance of wearing a life jacket in a water environment, um, making sure that the life jackets are U.S. Coast Guard approved as well. But as far as the learn to swim, we actually use other devices for when we teach learn to swim lessons. So, so yeah, but we definitely uh, present the topic of wearing a life jacket. Okay, perfect. So before we go, I just wanna ask you really quick, obviously not everyone has kids, but they have dogs. So can you talk to us about the parks for the dogs? Yes, yeah, so we actually have one um, uh, close attached to Pavo Real Spray Park, which is on, Pre on Presa mm -hmm. Street. And um, so if they have any, any uh, dog fellow fellows that I want to bring in um, they'll have the option to bring them into that one's just specifically for dogs so That's so amazing. once again once again this weekend um, from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. our the spray parks will be activated great yeah because we're looking into those 90 temperatures and soon those triple digits yes I know yes. so it's getting very hot all right well thank you so much no, for stopping you. by and we'll have more news after this break you're watching KTSM 9 news at noon